Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about no coding jobs in IT in 2024. Almost every day I receive comments on the YouTube channel or people reach out to me through LinkedIn asking Abhishek, can I get into IT in 2024 in a non-coding role? Also, people with experience, but in a no coding space previously, also reach out to me and ask, Abhishek, can I switch to DevOps? Can I switch to data engineering? Can I switch to data science? So that I can move to a high paying position. So in this video, I will talk about no coding jobs. I will try to explain the different options in the IT space. We will learn about the future of no coding jobs. Along with that, I will break a very important myth about no coding jobs amongst the aspirants. So make sure you watch this video till the end. First thing, let's start with an icebreaker or let's start by breaking a myth. That is DevOps engineering, data science, data engineering, they don't need programming or they don't need coding experience. So this is a myth. Don't believe this because let's take step by step. If you take DevOps, for example, you need understanding of scripting. You need knowledge of automation. You need to learn at least the basics of Python. Why? Because as a DevOps engineer, it is your prime responsibility to automate any manual activity in the software development lifecycle. So either you should be automating that using bash shell scripting. If not possible, you should be ready to use basic programming using Python. Now, when I say basic programming, you don't need to have knowledge of data structures and algorithms, or you don't need to solve lead code problems. At least you need to understand how to make an API call or how to use Python along with the modules. So these are some of the things that are required. If you want to understand more, you can check out my Python for DevOps playlist where I have made close to 15 videos and there are four to five projects that can explain why and how a DevOps engineer use Python. Now, if you move to data engineering or data science, again, you need knowledge of Python for sure, even a bit more than what you need in DevOps. Along with that, you need to have understanding of SQL. You should be able to write SQL queries in these positions. So this is the first thing that I want to explain. You can get into these positions, but make sure you have some knowledge of coding. You can gain that. It's not difficult in 2024. There are a lot of tutorials. There are AI assistants. There are co-pilots. So learning this basic is very simple. Again, I'm trying to repeat. You don't need to have knowledge of data structures and algorithms or knowledge to solve the lead code problems, but the basics will do. Now, whenever we talk about no coding jobs, there are few things that instantly pop up. Manual testing, database administrator, server administrator, or any administrative positions like AWS admin, cloud admin, Kubernetes administrator, SSO admin. Are these positions still valid in 2024? The answer is yes and no. There are still some companies which recruit these positions. Manual testing positions are not dead. There are still some companies who recruit these positions along with that database administrator, server administrator or cloud administrator. But one thing to mention, although some companies recruit these positions, mostly in IT, these positions are being replaced. That is, if there is a company with bunch of manual testers, either they would like to replace them with automation engineers 
or they would give these manual testers enough resources and enough time to upgrade and transform themselves into automation engineers. Mostly with the impact of AI and with the advancement of IT, automation will replace these positions. Of course, it might take time, but if you want to get into IT from non-IT position or if you want to get started with IT, I would not recommend these positions. Again, they are not dead, but it's better not to choose that as career path if you want to start your IT journey in 2024. Which ones? Again, let me repeat. Manual testing, database administrator. Database administrator is a special thing because in some companies, even now when they have their infrastructure or when they have their setup on premises, a database administrator plays a very important role along with the system administrator as well as server administrators or a DevOps team. So in these cases, companies would still recruit a database administrator. But when it comes to the cloud platforms, maybe 70 to 80 percent of the companies are on cloud and these companies might not recruit a database administrator. So why do you want to take that element of risk? Your company might be on premises today, but when they switch to a cloud platform, again, this position might be at stake. So these positions are something that I would not recommend in 2024. Instead, look for some automation in the same space. If you want to get into testing, instead of manual testing, try to look at automation testing. If you want to get into database administrator, why not switch to a cloud position, cloud engineer or a DevOps engineer. Similarly, server administrator, Kubernetes administrator, AWS administrator. Now your question can be, Abhishek, you have eliminated most of the positions. So what are left in IT? Can I actually get into no coding space in 2024? The answer is definitely yes. There are still some positions like Scrum Master, Program Manager, Product Owner, Business Analyst. These positions does not require coding experience. And these positions are really good. So that doesn't mean when I say no coding or non-coding jobs, that doesn't mean they are less paid. Even these positions are well paid, but you need to gain the skill set. If you want to become, let's say, a scrum master or a program manager or a product owner or a business analyst, you need to get certified in this space. You need to learn that skill. It's a completely different skill. So once you get used to that, then you can start applying for these positions. You can definitely take some courses, get certified, and you can get into these positions in IT in 2024. So this is something that I wanted to cover in this video. Make sure before you get into anything, you do the basic research. At least try to understand what, why, what is this position? Why is this position required in 2024? And will this position be required in future? Don't get worried about salaries part. Again, I see a lot of people talking about salaries. What is the salary of a DevOps fresher? What is the salary of a cloud fresher? Practically, that is impossible to say because salaries are mostly not dependent on positions, but they are dependent on the companies. How can you say salary of a fresher cloud engineer? Because that particular engineer can be in TCS or can be in Google. So TCS might offer 3 lakhs per annum, whereas Google might offer 30 lakhs per annum. So how can you define a salary bracket for a position? If you want to understand salary, you can go into Glassdoor or any equivalent portal, try to search for that company, and then you can understand how much a company pays for a particular position. But it is hard to generalize because there are thousands of companies in the market. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it useful. Take care. Bye-bye.